Well, I could agree to try and find a place to meet him, and I could, in the Griffin form, fly us out of here once we're out of sight of anyone. It's all fine. I have a plan. Uh, still. So, Twitch will grab hands, and we will walk through the mirror world, walking to our stained glass. So, the mirror shimmers, and it seems to become liquid like mercury as you step through it. You find yourself in this weird, weird space. There's no walls, but there's a fog all around, uh, all around you, and there seems to be a road. Uh, and on this road, there's countless, countless mirrors um, with countless people just reflection, waiting and waiting or mimicking things, objects, and that you don't seem to which you know not to try to get their attention. Uh, right. It's not worth it. Don't make Some... eye contact, don't draw them in. They're a weird type of goblin or something, right? You're not sure. Hmm. This place feels different from the edge. And the same at the same time. Okay. Um, mm, it is... This reminds... it reminds me way too much of my game in the stone. Yeah. Uh, it is very trippy, yes, but some of the reflection looks at you. You can even see, like, uh, do me a. Do you try to look a bit around? It's very tempting, but. Nope. I mean, keeping my, keep my eyes fixed to a road. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that too. Yeah, Twitch as the leader follows the rules because he is the yeah. one trying to guide them around. Yeah, Twitch should just. Uh, as anytime you step into the mirror, you notice that your own reflection just, you know. They is behind you, like they don't they don't follow you, but since you entered from a mirror, uh mm -hmm. you, you know that the reflection of your group is behind you and will you're not sure if they follow you actually or if it's just teleport or something like that. But you know where to go. Uh the rest of you you really don't see any landscape or thing like that that can could help that could uh, help orient you of anything like that. Uh, but after a while, uh, you arrive, you recognize the stained glass of a window. It's just floating here, mid-air, into the fog. And you pass it through it, it shimmers, become liquid, and bam, you're on the other side. Okay. Uh, I would like you to do me a resolve composure roll. All but Twitch. All but? Okay. Uh, I would like to just add one thing. Just before leaving, I want to just look to the and go, uh, could you just stick by the mirror for a while? If you're going to sit oh, down, what? just sit down in front of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a sit down. and. Okay, I, I just have to, uh, like, yeah? Uh, yeah? I made my roll. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Very good roll. Uh, you had stayed fast. Like, you were kind of dreading to go into the mirror roll, but it's nothing. You feel. You're a darkling. Hey. You've seen, you're a darkling. You've seen worse. Oh, yeah. Even if you don't remember it. Uh, Martin looked like he's uh, gone to do an errand here, though. So, uh, yeah. so I guess you could roll for him, and then he disappears into the rafters as an owl or something. Yeah, that's going to be... That's going to be it, unfortunately. Right. Um, so, Fiddler, you're all alone with Twitch. Yay! He's going to try to see around uh, in the town to, you know, stand guard and try to warn you if anyone tried to come inside the building. Not too bad of an idea. Resolve uh, composure. Uh, no. What? I guess uh, uh, we should probably see what the scene like is here. 
Uh, we just... did say midnight, so I'm guessing that it is empty and the lights are off. It is. Uh, just a moment. Eh, he succeed. He's not shaking to his core, but he's not really, you know, he is fine. Okay. Uh, but yes, the church is silent. Uh, there's a, there's still a sweet, sweet smell in the air, smell of incense and goblin fruit lingering. Are you all here? I heard someone disconnect. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but right now you don't really hear anyone. Hmm. All right. You're in the main area of the nef of the place. The place doesn't seem to be really that big. Um, it's kind of pretty at night, but bit theory too. So in that case, uh, well, while it is a little creepy, we do need to head sort of towards the back. I think I recall uh, the direction the Golden Girl went last time we were watching her after her dance concluded. Yes, there is basically. Whoop! Sorry. There is two um, door aside from the main area. Um, well, sorry, three doors. Uh, they all are. So, oh, damn it! Sorry, my god. <laughs> they all are made of wood. Uh, it doesn't seem to be reinforced or anything; just old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. uh, there is one on the left, one on the right, and one by the entrance. Right, uh, the two the on the right and on the left are behind the altar and seems to lead to deeper into the church. Right, probably to the hallway and towards like uh, offices and storerooms. Probably, yes. Okay, so I think that's probably where we should begin on either the right or left. Uh, so I'll tap uh, Fiddler on the shoulder and we will creep on over there. Uh, I'm going to activate Light Chai. You can certainly do that. Without, uh, you can activate the loophole very easily. Yep. I'll do that. I'll just like put myself, creep into uh, like behind a statue or a column or something and wait for the loophole tag. Uh, the whole higher eye is basically dark and in the shadows. You have you have trouble seeing uh, seeing correctly for most of you because the only light you have is from the moon. Uh, that's the moon that shines through the stained glass of the windows. Oh my god, it's loud. Ooh. Sorry. But, um, but yeah, at least there's not right. much you see here yet. Oh, uh, so yeah, I'm invisible now, and the uh, camera recordings also uh, yep. ignore. It doesn't seem to be any sense. camera. Not that you can see. Never too prudent. Of course. Well, it does sound like that you're perfect for this, though. So uh, Twitch will at least test the door for you to see if it is uh, unlocked to the uh, back there. Um, mm -hmm. Which door? The one on the left behind the altar. It is locked. Okay. Well, Twitch has larceny. Uh, uh, unless uh, Ren... Uh, no, not Ren. Uh, Fiddler. Fiddler has larceny as well. I do, but, you know, I, I wouldn't want to steal the show. Uh, well, I have, like, one dot in it and three decks. What about you? I'm just curious. Uh, I'm, I'm slightly better. Okay. But no, uh, I my can technically, like, assist you in the attempt. It's like, yeah, can I, can, he... I can hold the pin here while you, like, uh, do this. Can he assist me? Yeah, he can. Uh, it's going to be at minus, uh, minus two because of the, um, of the lighting, the lighting with each non-existent. 
Okay. Okay. And his assistance, uh, what does he do? He rolled first, and every success he has, that's a dice for you. Okay. That's an extra yeah. die. So I have minus two as well. Yes. Well, minus one because you gave you a die. You don't have to see the pins, you just have to feel them. It's okay. Yeah, I know. Don't, don't worry. Uh, yeah, after a while, you manage to quietly open the lock. And the door begins to slowly move. It creaks a bit, but not too much. I'll keep my ear up, ears out for you, but you can go ahead from here. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Uh, I don't. I don't. Like, nobody's gonna see me anyway. So yeah, I'll get in the room. I'm uh, careful not to make any noise, like as much as I can. Do me a dexterity uh, stealth, please. Oh no, actually, it affects all senses, so I don't even need to be quiet. Oh, it does. Light shy. J uh, sorry, I'm just gonna read it. No problem. So is this yep, no, no, you you're right. your bagpipes then? <laughs> I can yeah, I can like play the violin well. I uh, go to church. Yeah. All right. So you arrive in it's there's a bit of a hallway uh, made of stone. It's dark, so you don't see much. Uh, but you arrive in a large area, which seems to be a storage room. You don't know, there's a lot of... you think furniture under... Everything seems to be under... Uh, sorry, uh, heavy cloth. Everything seems to be shredded. Uh, you think you mm -hmm. see a uh, old cross. Um, you, there's light bulb that... You're certain of it, but uh, um, the area itself gives you creeps. You don't really know why. You can maybe it's because you can see much, and on you can only see forms uh, at the edge of your vision. But there don't seem to be anyone in the place. Right. So furniture is the furniture like big. Uh, pieces, uh, like, yeah, uh, like not just like garden chairs. Yeah, no, not just garden chairs. There seems to be at least human. You'd say there's tables. You think there's a table with some papers on it? Um, there is definitely what seems to be a dresser, wardrobe, wardrobe. Sorry, there's a real life sized cross of Jesus, so... Oh, great. And you think there's one or two statues? And... There's big... Uh, there's a big, big box, a trunk with a padlock on it. In the middle of this. And after, mm. after filling it with your hands, you can... You come across a sheet of paper that was resting on the trunk. Uh, yeah, I'm going to read it. It's too dark to read anything. Okay, okay so uh, I'll take it with me. And... Yeah, get out of the room. All right. Uh, you get out of the room and go back to Twitch. All right, so okay. there's a lot of furniture uh, behind Clo. Can you read this? It's too dark for me, but I don't know. Uh, now that you're back in the main uh, area of the church, it's still dark, but you can manage to read a bit of it with the light. Um, I'm going to read it if I find back my note. Yeah, I got to find them. <laughs> ah, up, ah, here it is. My lady, we have found the mirror as per your instructions. <coughs> we have secured it and 
made sure none of us looked at it, although, uh, <laughs> although Simon swear he heard some whispers coming from it. We await for you further instructions. We remain. No one seems to have come for it as for now. Is it a mirror? Hmm? Yep, is it that's a, a mirror. mirror. Yeah. Hmm. Um, that wasn't a box, like a locked box? Uh, and, yep, in the lockbox. There seems to be. Apparently. There's a mirror in the logbox, and uh, at the end of the whoop, of a piece of paper, uh, there is a phrase that seems to have been written like, you would casually write uh, lovingly yours, but this phrase is, um, up, uh, embrace a holy delight. Mm. Mm. All right, Very so there's a mirror in the box. Yep. Well, I'm kind of interested to go take a look at it. Yeah, me too. Uh, there's no one in the room, so you can come, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, safe, quiet, go into the storeroom, check out the box. Uh, I do have a brain, and I do have a cult, so if there's anything really weird about it, maybe I understand what's going on. No, it seems to be... A, right now it seems to be a big trunk with a padlock, so you probably have to... Again... Lock pickets. Pick. <clears throat> uh, there's a light in the room, although you didn't switch it down, so it's gonna be at minus I mean, three. I don't, I don't like hear anyone in the room, right? No, there's no nobody in the room. Yeah, at so least I'll you didn't. Just, I'll just light the like turn yeah. the lights on. Twitch would like to take just one quick precaution before turning off, and that's just to find, say, like a quick cover or cloth, and just put it at the uh, bottom of the door frame so the light doesn't bleed into the hallway. Sure. You can totally do that. Okay. So um, just do that real quick. The room is is really less creepy now that you have lights. Still a bit, you know, it smells a bit old and it's the middle of the night and you're trespassing, so of course you're a bit excited, but I think it's really nice. You come across the trunk and once again you're gonna have to open it. Alright. Uh, so let's do the same as last time. I'll help you. And there's no penalty this time, so there could be even more dice. Yay. Or just one more die. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. See? Fine. Just fine. <laughs> Very easily, uh, you managed to pick the bad luck. Quietly, with a break next. And you open the trunk, and you can see that there's um oval shape wrapped in a cloth. It's about as big as, half as big as Lucy, so it's pretty big. It's a big, big mirror. Uh, so, but yeah, mirror. Yeah, right now, right now you just see the shape of it. You. It's wrapped up in, as I said, cloth. So. So the note said not to look into it. I mean, I understand some of the reasons, but I'm wondering yeah. if that might be an actual warning of danger. I mean, uh, if it's like a magical something, I, I wouldn't want to, like, get my soul trapped in it or something. I mean, that, that's what happens with mm -hmm. cursed mirrors, right? Uh, maybe. Uh, that would probably be intercultural there. Uh, but Twitch could probably try to, uh, check out the back of the mirror and the edges of it, and see if there's any sort of markings or anything. Sure. Um, one moment. I have to look at something. Okay. No, it's fine. The back of the mirror is smooth, very smooth. It's seems you're not sure of what it's made. It, you maybe silver, something like that. The edges of the mirror, though, they are sharp, jagged, and intrinsically carved. They're too much, though, to like without unclothing it totally. You cannot really. See 
determine shape, just like that. But they are very intricately made. Hmm. This mirror must be quite valuable. Hmm. Undoubtedly. But, of course, I'm interested in what's the occult properties of this mirror. You're is, is not... there anything actually strange about it? Uh, do me a wits occult. Okay. Let's see. If uh, I manage it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what's your mental? Autumn. Yes, I know. I'm just trying to see how many dots do you have? Enough. Yep, two of them. Uh, you get a bonus two dice. Oh boy. I think I know why that is, but let's see what the roll is. It's one. Success. <laughs> There's definitely something weird with this mirror. It's it's really big, and it's you're not sure, but it's warm to the touch. Shouldn't be warm. And my I thing that... hazard a guess that this has something to do with the true fae. You think maybe there's something like a presence in the back of your mind. Yeah, you think this is not a normal mirror at all. Twitch is going to just sort of like shut his mouth for a second, gently put it back, and then just close the lid. Ah, oh, you you don't want to gain a point for glamour. What for looking straight into it? Well, every time your character overcome his fear to investigate something new or dangerous, you gain a point of glamour as an autumn autumn courtier. Mm. That is a good point. Uh... But... Caution yeah. is the word right here because we do have a mission. We do. So yeah, we know she has a magic mirror and it's magic, magic, bad, do not touch. Well, I guess more to the point, if we do get her, we do probably need to take this with us. Yep. And someone Even... sent this to her. And I'll just like look back at the note. Uh, it seems to have been the, the mortal of a place that gathered it. You don't know where, mm -hmm. from where they, where they found it, when. But it must be recent if the note was on the thing. Must be. Still, I get the feeling someone worked with her for this, so that might be something to check out later, too. Still, we haven't found her, so let's go ahead and turn off the light move away the cloth from the door, and see if we can find out where she is without disturbing her. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. I got called away to get, well, but, uh... All good. Uh, so uh, you, you are, uh, guarding the entrance, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and creep back to the, uh, altar door and wait there for you again. Yeah, I, I think I, like, we, like, Put the log back and just uh, leave. Uh, for now, yeah. Yeah, this is where I would have shined as well because my last knee's at three. What, oh, sorry? And this is where I would have shined as well since my last knee's at three and I've got a special team lock picking. Mm -hmm. Right now, though, you're uh, flying around town making sure nobody's coming to the church. That's where okay. I decided you would be. Okay, so we still have a door to open. <laughs> Uh, There's still two doors, yes. Oh yeah, no, two doors. I thought of like the one that's right in front of this yeah. one. Yeah, uh, the right one on the right, and there's one by the entrance. Yeah, I think we should like try the one on the right. I agree. Uh, Same. It is. Well, Sex is the first. Let me prepare my dexterity and uh, my... There's a minus three on this one. In that case, uh, do I want to pop a willpower? No, I'll just go ahead and uh, give it it's a It's a supporting role. Like, yeah. And you could use the willpower since you're doing the main role. Yep. 
Alright, so I don't help you at all here. Alright, I'm gonna use a willpower. So, no penalties. Oh! Well! Sure, you managed to open it. I didn't need your help on this one. I managed to open it very easily and. You didn't even use a willpower. I did, I did. No, I don't, you don't know five. And, uh, do me a quick wits uh, composure roll. Yes. A perception roll. Right. Oh, this game's not. You're right, you're Both right. of us? No, just Lucy. That's two successes. Uh, you managed to... As you were going to, you know, casually do walk down, well, not casually, but you see something shiny in the dark, and you see a small, um, small metallic string um, that was like a trip wire that was made oh, here to make okay. a trip just behind the door, and you gracefully dodge it. I, I like show it to Twitch. Twitch will uh, kind of nod and take note of it. Doesn't seem like it's attached to anything, or is it just uh, no? It's there? just sure. yeah. You just seem to have been here to make people trips. Okay. So I'll give her a thumbs up. It's up to her. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go in the room and try to find uh, what's in uh, there. This is actually a long hallway with um. Only one door at the end of it, and you can see lights coming from under it. Ooh. All right. And so I'm gonna. Uh, do I? Can I see what the door looks like with the little light? Or yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a smaller door. Uh, that seems to be more recent. Um. And do me another perception roll, please. Two successes. I kept failing over and over again last time, mm -hmm. and or whatever. Uh, you smell uh, perfume, strong perfume, uh, and you can hear you can hear foot light footstep behind the door. Uh, there's Ooh. definitely someone in there. Okay. Do the footsteps seem to be coming towards the door? No, not specially. Just in the room, someone seems to be walking in the room. All right, I'm gonna like look below, try to look below the door if there's like a enough space for me to see it. No, there's not enough space. So that's... Okay. And then uh, I'm just gonna come out of the hallway, like not trip again on the wire and close the door. Okay, so that's uh, I think that's her room. Uh, at the like bottom of the hallway. Uh, are you certain? I'm not. I'm not certain, but uh, I heard someone walking. Uh, there was light in the door, and I could smell lots of perfume. I'm not sure that Vicar Elena puts out a lot of perfume. Hmm, that makes sense. Also, just um, sorry. Uh, remember that your darkling blessing. Uh, you can become insubstantial, like uh, and merge with shadows, light, or things like that uh, for free turns. Oh. So if I you wanted indeed. to, see if you wanted to take a quick peek, could have. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Like slide under the door. Wait, how are you? Okay. It? Hmm. Sorry, I'm just. Checking the rules for it. Uh, it's page twenty-five. Okay, willpower. Touch something insubstantial. Willpower if someone's looking at you. Uh, glamour if someone's looking at you. And willpower for just yeah. Sorry. Up. Oh, yeah. With the um, light that's come that's coming from under the door. Yeah. Uh, you. 
managed to quickly, quickly become a sensation, like get a quick pick uh, inside. And indeed, you can see the changeling um, who seems to be dreading herself for bed. You know, sure, this is a small room. Uh, there's perfume, there's a fancy, very fancy big bed, there's a bowl that seems to be filled with goblin fruits. Uh, but more importantly, um, there is in the middle of the room a crudely made door frame. That must be um, that must be an edge gate. Yeah, it's like a, just a door frame in the middle yeah. of the room. Yeah. All right. Uh, is she there? Yes, she is. She's reading your stuff for bed. Well, I'll, you know, uh, leave before I turn back. All right. And yeah, let's uh, go back to Twitch. Close the door. Okay, that's her room. She has a hedgeway inside. She's going to sleep too. Yep. So maybe we could do this quick and quiet. Uh, let's see if we can get Martin back down here. And I have a plan. Well, my plan is. I'll go back to Varvun, I'll grab the shackles, come back here, you, and we do the plan. You don't have the shackles right now. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to leave and come back then. Yeah, I think but that's a good idea. We did idea. learn what we wanted to, and that yep. is mission accomplished. Okay, do you want to check out the last door before we leave, or...? Uh, I think that just might be like the front office, wasn't it? Might be, know. yeah. Uh, I mean, we know where she is now, and that she has a hedgeway in her room, so... I'm just going to go ahead and scratch down what we've learned real quick, so go ahead. Okay, uh, I'll open the last door. Is it open? Yep. Okay, is it an office? Yes. Okay, cool. It's filled with paperwork, a desk, that sort of thing. Alright, so what I'll... Yeah, I think it's a... Yeah, we should grab Martin and leave. Uh, since I'm invisible, I'll, I'll go there and do that. Okay, and once we grab Martin, uh, I know that Varvun is still in front of the mirror, so I will uh, use Varvun's name as the loophole to take us back through the mirror. All right. Uh, do I need roll. to roll still, I think? Yeah. Yes, you do. At least it's free, so... At least it's free, so... I mean, to... yeah. Second time's a charm. Yes. You find yourself back at your hello after all of that. Uh, you reconvene with everyone else. And I... Do you believe you're gonna exp you're gonna share your information? Absolutely. I'll clue our run into what we found. A strange mirror that might have something to do with the Fae, and her in a room alone getting ready for sleep. Uh so we know she goes to sleep at about this time. This is perfect then. So we yeah. can plan our attack. All right. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, good. That's that's fine by me. I'll um I'll go along with. Okay, so so we're counting on the fact that she has a light sleep. Is that it? Or that she goes to sleep between twelve and one here. At I which mean... point, uh, we could probably quietly open the door to the room and then break in and shackle her before she has the chance to leave. Yeah, we're gonna need to be careful, though. I agree, but well, it doesn't seem like there's anyone else in the church. Okay, so we need to wait for tomorrow, then. Right. We just need to rest up, get the shackles, do it again. And I probably need to take a Bit of a rest too. Yeah, me too. In game terms, I'm like at four out of five willpower, so I'll have exactly one to try to get back <laughs> there.
All right, so your plan is to sleep, go get a shackle, and then wait uh, 24 hours to try to, to go back. Get... Okay. Right. Uh, so rest would be at least one willpower. Yes. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to have a, a a night at the bar because I don't feel like sleeping. Mm -hmm. Huh. Like uh, what, you know, have a was, drink with friends. You know. When was the last time you slept? After we came back from the hedge. I, uh, I stayed with Varvin. That was basically the same day as this. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah, it's the same day. You. Yeah, I had enough. Okay. Uh, you can. Sp eh, I guess you can spend the night just having a good time. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What's your needle? Bon vivant. Mm. Okay. Oh. Needle, needle. Where is the needle? Sure, it was here. It's in anchors. Ah. Right. Do you go all out like uh, partying like there's no tomorrow, or do you just? Oh no, I, don't, I I really don't care. Even if I get tired. All I right. Care. Do me a um, stamina whistle roll. You're gonna be hungover. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. You're getting a point of willpower, but yeah, you you're a bit tired. Nothing much. Nothing really dangerous, or you know, you're not falling asleep right where you are. But you wouldn't mind, yeah. A little nap. Yeah, a little nap. But you have time to do it. Uh, is grief back? Oh, sorry about my birds. Shush. I think you're having a bird uprising there. <laughs> um, is everyone here? I'm here. Okay. Uh, who among you is going to search for, uh, going to get the shackles? No, I'll fetch the shackles, since I can get there rather quickly. What? Can you repeat that? I said I'll fetch the shackles, since I can get there rather quickly. Okay. Uh, as you arrive uh, at the at the court of the freehold, um, you uh, Enzo greets you as always, and you do me a perception roll uh, as perception roll and a wit sympathy roll. All of us? No, just him. Okay. And the rest with some, yep, no. You roll this zero dice, I don't know why. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you Enzo guides you to his office, uh, trying to make small talk and asking like if you have a plan, uh, or is it going to be um. And if you feel up to the task, idle chat really, and seems to try to be encouraging, but um, and generally it seems to be curious about your group. Yeah, there are Yeah, there are Martin. So is that where we'll say that we have indeed we're up to the task, and we we have a plan after observing the time get last night. Ah, good, good. Mm, far for me to dub the order of the king, but uh, 
I was, I uh, had my doubt, but very well, come. Uh, he leads you to his office. Uh, you've never been here before, and it looks more like a library than an office, to be very honest. There's a lot, lots of books and even old fashioned parchments. I seems to be ruled. Everything is really neat, though. There's not an ounce of dust. Everything is on where it, you have a sense that everything is where it should be. And there's a little desk, um, and on the desk you can see a pair of really old, and rusty, old-fashioned shackles. When said shackles, it really was shackle, like something you something you would see in a film. That's really something that would be used in real life. A crot iron and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Enzo takes it, and you can see as some he shudders a bit as he touches it and says, "Well, here you are." Yeah. Thank you. And Martin proceeds to take it, and naturally, instinctively, shudders at the feel of cold iron against his own. It's not pleasant. It never is. It. it says very hey, well well as soon as you have our future guests come back here uh, as one the spring sorry the summer coat will be ready to um, detain her but just be careful hmm. I know this operation does require much delicacy to it you never know, still. Well, good luck. We'll need it. And then Martin makes his way back to the um, smart lane. Do you get well. them? Sorry. Well, I mean, we still have like a whole day. Yeah, I could always try and get more glamour. Oh, that's actually a good... I'm not gonna go play the bar again. Uh, not, not like, right away. I think I made a bit of a mess uh, yesterday, so... Yeah. yeah, got any sad songs to play? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, Casual could... music is basically mostly sad songs. Yeah, excellent. Good. Ted Martin did not know that because he's a Creole, not a Cajun. Anyway. And yeah, he's also winter court, so sadness is kind of a shtick. Not sadness, grief. Yeah. That's a big difference. Uh, I think I might spend some time with my touchstone as well over here. Just go out for a run, have a good time. Oh, yeah, um, um, Valvin's gonna do that too. Because he's got some clarity damage to try and kill. Yeah, I just... Sin. I don't remember if I had you. I know I had Valvin's. Response, but I don't know if I had the rest of it. God, I'm bad. Okay. Bad at this. Uh... <clears throat> uh... I don't don't quite remember <laughs> remember the name of your touchstones. Shit. No, uh, I got mine written um, down here. My... It was uh, David Brand here. Um, mine is a uh, restaurant owner called, uh, like, nicknamed Mamon Miro. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to write that down. I don't. I have it written down on the sheet if you ever want to find it. Sure. I think I have put it on my sheet to, uh... Or I'm not. Where is it? Uh, <laughs> I 
Okay. I don't have whoop. God, I'm sorry, guys. I still have trouble waking up today. Then. Oh. Mm. Uh. We are sleeping too. What? What? I said, uh, don't worry, we are sleepy too, and <laughs> at least I am. Yeah, I'm sleepy, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, everything hurts, so don't worry. Oh. Damn it. Everyone's old and grumpy. I, in that case, I know it's uh, sufficient. Uh, I'm. <laughs> I know it's a bit uh, on my part. Uh, uh, I forgot my part, but <laughs> would you mind if we just uh, stop early, very early today? Like, I know, so I can just like go maybe. Oh, shit, I don't know. This is probably still a good beat if you want to leave it off here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we're, like, we, we're, we're ready. Interesting today. We're ready. You know. We'll prepare some stuff, and then next session we can get right down to the old abducting. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really, really, really sorry. This is not my best session today. Not very far. We had fun, though. Yeah. Okay. I, well, I didn't fun. fail a single roll for yeah. once. I almost got arrested. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Wonderful. And Vavon just spilled the beans. Yeah, I did, but I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, of course. And why I mean, would you? Why, why would Damas yeah. even uh, keep secrets from her? I mean, they're working together. Doesn't make <laughs> sense. I mean, yeah, the cults collaborate, don't they? They tell everything to each other. <laughs> everything. Um, is they're the best of friends. Uh, you guys can all gain one bit. Um, hey. For the session? Uh, we're giving a position away. Looking at your different. Oh, can I change my aspirations? Because I, I realize yeah. they're really not easy to fill. Of course you can. Uh, uh, you would have gained a bit for the first one uh, today, but yes, you can change your aspiration. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad if like one of one of them is solved, but it's been like I don't know four or five sessions, and I haven't <laughs> solved any of them. No, of course, yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, what do you want to change? Which aspiration? Wait. Uh, let me find them. The first one is like I can validate it several times, right? Yeah. I mean, I, so. I mean, the yeah. first one is like a long running. Yeah, it's a long thing. term. For me, it's a long term. Yeah, and the two, I think the visit her fetch. I want to change it. The find someone to play with, play music with. No, I, I, I want to change the second one to screw the hive king over somehow. Ah, okay, interesting. Yes, you can. The hive keeper. <laughs> You all call I should him. not. I should not call yeah. him that. Well, if you want, he's delighted to be called king. But... No, nope, I'm good. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, yeah, I'm all good. All right. Um. Okay. Bits, bits, bits. I uh, could get another bit for you know for advancing the story and. Uh, Lucy, you uh, already t you already gained a bit for your first aspiration. So uh, mm -hmm. you've there. Uh, I can't even do basic math. My God, <laughs> jeez. So that's two, like for my aspiration. And... One for your aspiration, one for the session, and one for the story for you. So everyone got oh. two, but Lucy got three. Oh, so I, I I have a second experience point. Yeah, same here. Nice. I can finally get that goblin contract. <laughs> Same here. And I'm one beat short of my third experience point. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, because... Um, you I keep mean, failing? 
I did yeah. take quite a beating last time. Yeah, okay, you took a beating. Two or you three. clarity damage, something like that. So yeah, it's yeah, it happens. Uh, so you want to get a goblin contract? Oh uh, yeah, goblin eyes, right? Uh yeah. I just want to go find it on the list real quick. I think uh, it's page one sixty three. One sixty three. Excellent. All right, cool. So I'll go ahead and grab that real quick because uh, it's definitely relevant to me, especially now. You have it. You just went back to the market and swallowed the goblin eyes. All right. So that you. I. Yeah. Yeah, and I wish to buy a new merit, Arcadian Metabolism, because that looks like a really nifty one. Uh, let oh, me what's see. What's that one do? It makes Basically, you heal faster in the head. Yeah. And also does something with uh, goblin fruit. No? Yes, you can. No, no, it just says it lets you heal faster in the edge. And yes, you can take it. Sweet. Yeah, it's it's kind of good, yeah. Uh, all right. So, sorry for the short session today. I'll make okay. up for it next week. Uh, no worries. All good. We got some exciting things happening next time, where we're going to uh do a house invasion in kidnapping. Yeah. Oh God! Yeah. We're gonna take so many Yay. clarity damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going. To I be. hadn't thought of that. We're gonna get so much clarity damage. We're kidnapping someone. <laughs> Yes, no, you no, are. Just don't think about it as a kidnapping. Think about it as an arrest. <laughs> no, too late. Too late. I can't. I can't even see it. Oh, my God. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awful. Yeah, that's going to be fun next time. Uh, oh, yeah. I just wanted to... Uh, so those of you who can shapeshift, um, I wanted you to give me the form you have uh, so I can stat them. Uh, and uh, if you have a uh, picture for your touchstones, uh, but like if you have a picture, you or if you want me to provide one, I provide one. But if you have one and you really want them, mm -hmm. uh, I'm fine with you picking one just, for mine. Okay. Uh, and as far as transformation, I guess talent and wing isn't what you're talking about, basically. Uh, no, really, like transformation, like uh, transforming to a griff. Chrysalis. Chrysalis, yeah. I think that just Martin then. Okay. Uh yeah. Uh aside from that, I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna see you next time. Yep. See you next time. Bye. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Gonna want to